Hello everyone, this is Akash Nimani and in this tutorial we'll learn about search engine marketing. So firstly, what is search engine marketing? It basically means how you can improve the rank of your page or the results which Google shows to include your website in it so that you can drive traffic to your website. So for example, if I search for email backup, it's showing me a number of options, it's showing me a few Ad, ads which are via AdWords and then some of the different results which Google shows are based on what you've searched for. So the main idea of search engine marketing is to improve your website's ranking for certain keywords which are relevant for your site. Right. So there are different things which a search engine marketing consists of. A search engine marketing basically consists of SEO which is search engine optimization how you can improve the page rank of your site how you can improve the overall ranking of your website in Google in ask.com Bing etc on different search engines then a small part of it it also incorporates uh, social media marketing where you make use of social media sites like Facebook Twitter Pinterest and gain popularity and drive traffic to your site so again if you think about social media you when you put links of your sites on social media these are public links so it it in a way helps your search engine marketing as well then paid advertisements of course as we saw in this case google would for show you a few paid advertisements which show up whenever you search for a keyword and then the basic search results are what follows and there are other components as well which make up for search engine marketing which we'll see in this video so uh, let's see this so for, for example uh, in drop my email as you see we've optimized the, the keyword drop my email itself so that when you search for it you see our website and then most of the information is for our website may let it be articles or reviews etc so it's important that for a software product for example like ours the results show up a variety of different things it should talk about the website there should be articles which show reviews of the website so this kind of helps the customer understand that yes it's a reliable product etc so firstly let's let's talk about the paid advertisement part even though we've covered paid advertisement in a great detail in other videos in this we'll talk more about in terms of search engine marketing so firstly before you start actually getting into advertisements you need to understand the keywords which are relevant for your website so for example in case of drop my email we mainly do email backups we help companies migrate their emails and we also help them restore emails so there's a great tool by Google it's a Google keyword tool so you can just search for Google keyword tool and you will land up on this site so here you enter the phrases which you feel is more relevant to your site so for in this case email backup if you're a pizza restaurant maybe you want to look at uh, pizza or special type of pizzas or pizza home delivery as keywords for your website and then optimize it around it so this this is the first stage where you actually search for keywords which are relevant for your site and then you start building upon it so if, if you need to just put in the phrases which you feel are important then your website and then the category in which it belongs so you can select all categories but it's preferred that you narrow it down to the kind to the category of where your site falls into now if, if you're a location-based uh, website let's say a pizza shop in a particular city or maybe a brand which only serve services in a particular country then it it's important for you where you can add locations and see the search results of that location but you can also remove it if you're a web software and you're tra targeting a particular continent you can add a continent or if you want global exposure just trying to understand how the keywords work globally then you can look at it as well so if you search for this so in my case Google is actually showing me a lot of different keywords so firstly it will show you the keywords which you've searched for it shows you the competition level now the competition level basically tells you that how many on a particular scale how many people are actually fighting for that keyword so how many other people are bidding on this keyword or how many other people are optimizing their site in terms of 
keyword search engine optimization for this keyword and specifically for AdWords, right? So it's it's good to see that email backup has low competition. So it's, it would it won't be as difficult as it would be for a medium or a high level competition to fight for this keyword and get traffic for it. Now, this is important. It gives you the monthly searches. So about 135,000 people search for email backups globally. So this this is this is good for us because it shows that there's a decent market out there for this particular keyword. But whereas email migrate might not be a great keyword because only nine thousand nine hundred searches happen on it monthly throughout the whole uh, internet crowd that is globally. So what Google does well is it gives you other relevant keywords which might be useful for you, which you should be looking at. So you can sort it based on monthly searches or based on competition and then go through. So as you can see, apps for Google is, is kind of relevant for us because we provide email backups and Google apps is, is one of the means in which businesses post their email. So maybe we can target something like that. But things like email server, online server, these are irrelevant to us. So it does not make sense for actually to get into these keywords. So it's you should first scan through these keywords see which ones are relevant for you and then make a list of the keywords make sure the competition level is between medium low or medium maybe you can select a couple of keywords which are high but select about six to eight keywords and then start building upon that initially to start off with so so first now that you have your keywords so let's say email backup email market let's just say we want to be using these so now you can use these keywords and then start optimizing your site. So some one of the basic things to do is to optimize your website itself. Go to dropmyemail.com as we wait for the site to open up. Uh, what we see here, this is the source code for the website. So some of the important things to look at is the title of the page. So the title of the page should generally have your keyword. It's preferred that the main keyword which you're looking at targeting should have should be in the title of the website. And the title, the first three to four words of the title are more important. That's what Google would be putting more emphasis on as compared to the rest of the words in the title. So make sure your first three to four words have your key words into it. The second thing is the con uh, description. This is the description tag. Uh, make sure that again your description has the keyword. So in this case, email backup, migrate, attachment view, restore, and then we are kind of targeting different uh, email providers like Yahoo Mail, Google. So you kind of put in a description which makes sense as well and includes most of the relevant keywords which you are targeting. And then there's a keyword meta tag as well even though a lot of people say that you, that google does not pay attention to it but there are other search engines which might be looking at these might be looking at this particular tag to extract keywords from it and link it to your site so may, in our case we've given mail backup email backup uh email backup different forms in which people search for migrate email email restore etc so these three are something which you should be looking at while you design your site every page should have these three tags the title the keyword and the description and every page generally should have a different description a different title and a different keyword this this will help you quite a bit so the second thing is uh, make sure that the density of the keyword which you use is high on your site so for example it, if you choose email backup as your keyword and throughout the website there's no mention of the word email backup then it, there's a kind of a disjoint here so google would actually not give you a good ranking in that term so when you even use email backup for your keywords on your ppc that's advertisements you will have a low quality score so you would not have higher placements of your ads as compared to other people who have a higher density of keywords on their website so as you see in this case we kind of use the word email backup restore email backup quite often throughout the page so make sure the page dense the keyword density on the page is high 
so next thing uh, if you see the Google search results you would see something like this so this this is basically an optimized Google search so what Google lets you do is it has a feature called rich snippets where you can actually customize the way your page results will show up so if you look at, if you search for Google rich snippets you land up on this page so you can add reviews to your site and make sure you put it in such a way that Google is able to read the data and recognize it as reviews if you want to put a picture of a product or maybe a picture of a recipe of what you're making Google lets you do all that so there are different categories which you can actually mark up your content which is reviews people products business organization recipes events music etc so it's if it's good that if you could go through these let's say if you're a product side you can go through the product see what are the different tags which you should associate with your product on the page implement it and you can actually google also has a uh, test tool which lets you see whether you've implemented it in the right way or not so this will help in producing research results which are much more attractive which are much more useful for people to view to visualize and understand what you what the page is talking about so this will help you in a way to get more traffic to your page so that's rich snippets you should make use of rich snippets then another thing is to it comes it's a part of search engine optimization but which is getting backlinks so backlinks are basically other websites which have links to your website so a good way to get backlinks are firstly you can make use of open directory so the dmoz is it's an initiative by uh, aol and i google is kind of involved in it as well so get your website listed in it find the right category in which your website falls and make a submission here the other directories as well for example the yahoo directory and if you search for it there's a number of good sites which host directories where you can add links to it secondly uh your blogs the blogs are great for you to get backlinks to your site and not only just your blogs but you can also uh, contribute articles to other known blogs which have a better page ranking than yours that's that's helpful one thing to keep in mind while you're writing blog posts is to make use of keywords again in your post so that uh, google kind of associates your blog with the keywords which you have around here and it would be good if you could link those keywords to your website which are targeting so if you see in our blog email backup backup email uh corporate email so all these we are actually back uh, linking it to our website for if you go further down you would see backup email linking to drop my email email attachments to our features page corporate email to our business website so not only just your own blog but you, you could you should be making use of forums uh different something like a quora or normal forums which you find contribute articles to different well-known blogs etc so you you should have a strategy around uh, building links to your site for that particular keyword so as we saw in step one where we find keywords relevant for our site and we do so and then you start adding backlinks to your site using those keywords so your ranking for that particular keyword increases another thing which google will look at is uh, the particular how your site is how secure your site is so security of your site is important it should not have malicious activities happening around it or it should not be loading viruses on people's computers so one of the uh, open source not an open source but one of the free tools kind of which is available is wot it it tracks your site so for here you just go enter your site for example dropmysite.com and then it shows the current ranking and the trustworthiness of the site so there's a lot of talks which goes around that google is actually getting data from these guys and making it a part of uh, their algorithm to basically see how your site fares as compared to others while showing your search results so it's good that you make sure that your rankings are good in terms of w uh, another good way to get your page rankings increased as we saw in, when you search for drop my email is you'll find a lot of 
good articles written on it by people in the industry pc world venture beat tech in asia e27 so these are well known blogs in and around a particular region for example tech in asia and e27 are much famous in asian region southeast asia specifically venture beat pc world these are global blogs so they have a great ranking so it's good of these guys write about you so for example your story dot in is focused on india and we've they've written about five to six blogs about us so it's it's good that you uh it's get such sites basically these are uh websites which provide daily news and information about the particular industry so it's good if you could talk to these guys approach them let them know what you're doing so they can write about you and it not only helps you to get more public uh, views to your site but it also helps increasing your search engine ranks how uh, on how your page on your how your site is faring on google so this is an, another great thing where you can actually get these guys to write about you and if you see you can get them to link to your site this is also important because you're not only getting exposure to a wider audience but you're also getting backlinks to your site so after after you do all these there's a lot of different things again which you can do you can google it and read more about it but uh, as as you do more things you'll see that your web page starting starts to appear on google and then it kind of has a good uh, view on google in terms of maybe earlier it was on the second page now it's pushed up to the first page so this way you're increasing you're doing search engine marketing with a whole lot of different things which which involves search engine optimization social media marketing which is basically adding links to facebook twitter talking about your product getting people to talk about it spread the word paid advertisements which we saw how we can do it in the previous tutorials and how it is helpful in your case where you can see the ads right on the top so uh the pr check it's is just a great way for you to see how how your page is ranked if you enter for example drop my email it will tell you the rank it's generally good to have it for and about it's it's a good uh, practice make sure you at least get your page rank up to 4 if it's any way below that means you got to work on it so in this case our site is currently at 4 and we're working on improving it further right so that's about it uh, search engine marketing so just to recap first we should select our keywords make use of the google keyword tool find our keywords and then start building content around the keyword your website other blogs also one important thing which you can do is do a lot of press releases there's a lot of free sites which helps you do press releases as well as paid sites so these are uh, different websites indicate these and then they show them up so you again get a lot of backlinks happening in this case so this way you can uh build up your whole site for a particular keyword and again this will give you a better exposure in terms of google so when someone searching for a particular keyword and which is relevant to your site your page should show up including your advertisements and you get more traffic so the whole idea of search engine marketing is to drive more traffic to your sites and it includes a lot of different aspects as we saw in this video so that's about it for this video <laughs> Thank you.